Hey everyone and welcome to this video in which I'm going to be showing you how you can uh, download some portions of your Apple Maps to use for the offline. So basically how you can use offline maps on the Apple Maps and keep in mind that this only works on iOS 17. It's not really available on like the older version. So you will probably need to wait for the version to be like official or if you have the beta, you can try it out right now. Anyways, uh, the way it works is that you basically open up the app and at the bottom next to the search bar, you have your profile picture right there. If you're not logged in with your Apple ID, it's not really a problem because you can still go ahead and tap on it. You can still tap on uh, the uh, profile picture right there. And uh, this will prompt you to sign in with your Apple ID. So you can go ahead and do that if you want to, but you have some different things. And the third one on the list are offline maps so you can tap on it and basically the only option the only button is to download new maps so you're gonna tap on it and it's gonna either search for your location or you can just type in whatever city you want so i'm gonna type in berlin germany so go ahead and tap on that and it's gonna immediately like zoom in and get to the map and here is a resizable rectangle which, uh, gonna, which is going to contain the entire map which is going to be downloaded. So everything inside of that area is going to be saved for online use. The good thing about it is that you can zoom it in. So let's say that you're traveling to Berlin and you only want to save the offline uh, city center. You don't care about the outside area. So you perhaps just want to zoom it in like this. Or even if you don't care about the other areas, you can even resize it resize the area of the downloaded maps and make it even a smaller keep in mind that offline maps definitely need some data some storage space because you have to like store the map information somewhere and it's going to tell you right away that the size of selected map is this one right here so it tells you right away that this is exactly how long it's or how big how large the, the map is going to be so now what you want to do is to click on a download. So you're going to start downloading all of the, um, the, the entire size of the map and you can then change some of the options. So uh, the first one is the download. So perhaps you want to only choose the downloads to happen on Wi-Fi only, or perhaps you want to also use the, the cellular. That's the option as well. Uh, automatic updates should be turned on in my opinion because that is the um, like updates to the map you know like every time there is there are some new things going on for example a new store is added in that location or something changes whatever it is then if you have the automatic updates it's just gonna update it in real time you don't have to care about it or you also have the optimized storage which is gonna save some unnecessary information from downloading that means that only the most important things are going to be like saved to your iPhone for offline use. You can of course download as many offline maps as you want so you can create or download a new map and just continue with the same steps as before. So that's it. And also you can, um, for example, at the bottom, you also have one more option which says only use offline maps. And if you for some reason don't want to don't want to use internet with your maps at all and you for example downloaded some areas on the map for offline use you don't even want to use it online you can choose this option and whenever you go to the apple maps they will not even get to the like online mode you will only browse your downloaded maps which i guess may be useful perhaps to save some data on your cellular network i guess but it's not really something i'd want to do so these are all the things that you need to know about it. This is how it works. And you can, of course, go ahead and delete the old maps if you don't need them, but that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video and found it valuable, what I would recommend you to do is to subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel because they are going to find out some interesting information about iPhones and really cool stuff. So go ahead and do that. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the future. Peace.